Did you know that cervical cancer is the second most commonest cancer in women after breast cancer? In India alone, more than 1 lakh new cases of cervical cancer are diagnosed. More than 70,000 women lose their lives every year. We now know the cause of the cervical cancer. It is a preventable cancer. It happens because of a virus called human papilloma virus. So last week we spoke about the cervical cancer screening, which is the pap test and the HPV test. By doing the pap test, we can pick up the abnormal cells in the cervix. By doing the HPV test, we can pick up the presence of HPV in the cervix. But what if, if we have a way to prevent the HPV infection and the cervical cancer right in the beginning? So hello everyone, this is Dr. Anjali Kumar once again bringing you greetings from Maitri. Maitri is the space where we talk anything and everything about women's health. So today we will talk about the vaccines which can protect you against HPV and hence the cervical cancer. So HPV is human papilloma virus. It is one of the very common STDs. It can happen both in men and women. HPV is the reason for the cervical cancers, vulval, vaginal, anal, penile and even throat cancers. HPV is also known to cause genital warts. Now these are very ugly looking, very contagious, cauliflower shaped, itchy bumps in the genital area. So we now know that there are more than 200 types of HPVs. They are basically known by numbers. There are few HPVs which are high risk HPVs like 16, 18, uh, 31, 33, 35. In fact, 16 and 18 number HPV are the HPVs which are known to be behind most of the cervical cancers. Then there are certain low risk types of HPV also. So the HPV vaccines can prevent you against cervical, vulval, vaginal, anal, penile cancers and also against genital warts. What are the types of HPV vaccines available? So currently there are three types of HPV vaccines available. Number one, Cervalix. That's the bivalent vaccine. It works against two HPVs, which is 16 and 18. Second, Gardasil 4. It's a quadrivalent vaccine. It works against four types of HPVs, 16, 18, 6 and 11. So 16 and 18 are the cancer causing HPVs while the 6 and 11 are the genital warts causing HPV. So this vaccine protects you against the cancer and the genital warts both. The third is the 9 valent vaccine. It is Gardasil 9. It protects you against 9 types of HPVs. So what is the best vaccine for me? So your doctor can decide what is the best vaccine for you based on your history and the availability of a particular vaccine in your area. Who should get the HPV vaccine and what's the right age for the HPV vaccine? The vaccine works early when it is given at a young age, before the onset of the sexual activity and the exposure to HPV. So 9 to 26 years is the best time for the HPV vaccination. 27 to 45 years is what is known as catch-up vaccination. It is not very beneficial as the HPV exposure probably would have occurred by then. But you can talk to your doctor and decide if you would want to take the HPV vaccine. More than 45 years HPV vaccine is not recommended because by then the HPV exposure in all probability would have occurred. What is the dosage schedule of HPV vaccine? 9 to 14 years only two doses are required, zero and six months, which means the second dose is given six months after the first dose. 15 
to 26 years. Three doses are required, zero, two, and six months. Second dose is given two months after the first dose, and the third dose is given four months after the second dose. 27 to 45 years. However, not recommended, but you can take the vaccine after recommendation by your doctor. Three doses are required, zero, two, and six months. Immunocompromised patients of all ages, like HIV positive, three doses required, zero, two, and six months. What if I miss a dose? So for the vaccine to be completely effective, it must be taken as recommended. However, if you miss the dose, you must take the vaccine as soon as you remember. How is the vaccine given? This vaccine is given intramuscularly either in the upper part of the arm or in the front part of the thigh. Are there any side effects of this vaccine? This vaccine is by and large very safe. However, it may cause some mild discomforts like pain, swelling, redness or soreness at the site of the injection. Some people might have little nausea, vomiting, headache. Some people might even have little dizziness or fainting. However, all these are very, very rare. Who should not take the HPV vaccine? Number one, somebody who is pregnant or who is suspecting to be pregnant. Number two, someone who is severely or moderately ill. Number three, someone who has a history of allergic reactions, especially to latex and yeast or someone who has had a severe allergic reaction to the earlier HPV dose. Will the HPV vaccine work for me if I am already sexually active? Yes, even if you have been exposed to some strains of HPV earlier, this vaccine might protect you against many other HPV strains. Do I need a pap test or a HPV test before taking the vaccine? No, there is no need. Do I still need a vaccine if I get my regular pap test done? Yes, for sure. Pap test and vaccinations do not replace each other. In fact, they are complementary to each other. Together, they can offer almost 100% protection against cervical cancer. So both must be done. Every three yearly pap smear plus complete HPV vaccination. What can I do to prevent myself from cervical cancer if I have missed my vaccinations or I do not fall in the recommended age group? So HPV spreads by the sexual route, vaginal, oral or anal. So be always very careful about your sexual behavior. Use barrier contraception, male condoms, female condoms, dental dams, Avoid multiple sexual partners. Always be very sure of your sexual partner's history too. Avoid smoking in case of any sexually transmitted infection. Promptly get them treated. And do not forget the regular pap smears and the HPV tests. Where do I find these vaccines? So these vaccines are very easily available in most of the hospitals, private and government hospitals, gynecological clinics and even pediatric clinics. Many organizations and corporate offices also regularly organize the discounted HPV camps. Do boys or young men also need a HPV vaccine? Yes, they do. HPV is known to cause anal and penile cancers, cancers of head, neck and throat in men too. So men are equally vulnerable. Also, we do not have a screening test like a pap test or a HPV test available for men, which puts them at a higher risk. HPV prevention in men will decrease the transmission to women also. So now, according to CDC guidelines, the HPV vaccination is now offered to all children, boys and girls, both from nine years onwards. Cancer usually does not give a second chance. Prevention of cancer is better than the treatment of cancer. HPV vaccination is equal to the cervical cancer prevention. 
Worldwide, HPV vaccinations and cervical cancer screenings have dramatically reduced the cervical cancer rates. So if you have not got the HPV vaccination till now or have not got the pap smears done till now, do it right now. So today, like always, if you found this information useful, please subscribe to Metri by pressing the bell icon. It's absolutely free. You can also subscribe to Metri right now by pressing the icon at the bottom right hand corner of the video. Also share Metri with your friends and families. Do not forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and we will see you soon.